What's up, guys? Adam, Jake from State Farm. Haha, <laughs> beat you to it. Yeah, I'm gonna get tired of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jake from Jake from. Uh, I don't know where I can put you. At. Allstate. Jake from Allstate. Allstate. That doesn't have a really a good ring to it. No. It Jake from Allstate. You have to do the voice. Allstate. Allstate stands. We were, we're horrible. That. We're horrible. We're, anyways, we're back with a taste test review. Uh, Tuesday taste test review, I guess, yeah. maybe. Uh, we've got, this is a unique thing. Um, Jakey here found these at, where'd you find these? Uh, Rural King. Yeah, it's a some, sort of like a farm and fleet uh, here in central Illinois. I think there's some others too, but I think here... Springfield and Charleston's the closest one yeah, around. It's it is a farm kind of store slash hardware store. Anyways, Jake found these as he's strolling around uh, with his lovely girlfriend one day, and her mind's blown because Jake filled up his cart full of chips. Um, did she not? Probably. She was like, "You're I'm not paying for those." <laughs> We've got Larry the Cable Guy. Get her done. Tater chips. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't even know what to expect on this. There's so many flavors. We're going to do a couple videos, actually. Uh, first video we're going to do is fried dill pickles, tater chips. And the second one is the cheeseburger tater chips, which is interesting because we just yeah. did the ruffles. So we're going to see which one. Uh, I guess we can kind of compare to the ruffles one. Yeah, we can. So which one do you want to do first? I said we do the cheeseburger one first. Let's do the cheeseburger one first. We've got handy dandy cups. Do we, do we need bowls? Do we really need bowls? I like bowls. Okay. It's like sharing a bath together. See, it just doesn't seem to right, does it? It's a lot of questionable things when you share a bath together. You learn each other really well. Woo! Yeah, I, don't, I don't think it really smells like cheeseburger. It does have like a pickle yeah, smell to it though. I guess we could just eat out of the bag. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I don't know why we exactly needed... I'm going to get a couple. There we go. That's one. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. So, here are Larry the Cable Guys tater chips cheeseburger flavored. Here we go. I taste mustard. I taste mustard, but I do get a pickle. And... Actually... I do get a little a bit of beef in a sense. A you know what? Salt. There is a lot of salt. But this I can taste like a like a burger on Yeah, this. I can too. Which and is interesting and everything. we couldn't do that with the no. with the ruffles. No, it's ruffles. Just a single flavor. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like sour cream. Yeah. This actually tastes like a chip. Or like a, like a cheeseburger. Like a cheeseburger chip. It does. <laughs> That's really not bad. No, I can see myself eating that. I'm not going to give it a 5 out of 5, though, because it is very, very salty. Lots of salt on my fingers. That's greasy. Uh, I'm okay with grease. Salt, though. I know you are. You know. Hey, you can only like a few things that'll kill you. That's okay. True. Grease, salt. I'm going to go with the grease. Cyanide. Cyanide. I give it a 4 out of 5. Look, nope. I'm here. This is Larry the Cable Guy's fried dill pickle tater chips shall we so how i don't know if it's going to taste fried over anything else it's, i think it's going to taste like a pickle i think i feel like it's going to taste like sour cream there's a lot of like chives on there that's interesting here we go we're going to have a lot of potato chips yeah i still have ruffles have the giant thing over. oh okay fried dill pickle well, you can instantly taste. To me, it's like a vinegar, mm. like pickled vinegar. You can take. I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Larry. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were just endorsing stupid crap so that he can get I mean, some more money. This is this is really not bad. No, I mean I'm not a pick. I'm not a huge pickle fan. Yeah, I'm not with it. I love pickles, but pickle chips are kind of seem pointless to me. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I I don't know if I'd buy that just to have, but if somebody had it at a party, I, I would dip my hand in it. It sounds dirty. It sounds real bad. I'm sorry for even saying that. 
dip my hand in the dip dill my pickle. My hand in the pickle chips. Oh yeah. I give it. I can't answer why I can't give it a five. I'm gonna stick with a four. I'm going to as well, but because I don't taste any fried in it at all, it just tastes like a pickle chip. Well, actually, there's there's a little bit of a, a friedness to it. I don't. I mean, it explain. tastes like a pickle. Yeah, it's just I, straight pickle, but maybe it's just the chip. It's the chip's fried, so it tastes kind of fried. I give it a four out of five. He's giving it a four out of five. I recommend picking them up, finding them. Um, maybe one of these times we should do like a giveaway. No, that's not a bad idea. We give away back maybe when we hit 50 subscribers on our uh, YouTube page. Get to it. I th we have more than 50 subscribers. Oh, do we? Yeah, good yeah. point. Yeah. Okay, 50 likes on our Facebook page. There we go. Oh, on the Facebook page. Yeah. You said the YouTube page. I don't care. I'll Anyways. figure it out. Yeah. Let, like, share, comment. Uh, like us on Twitter or Facebook, that kind of stuff. And let us know if you've ever had these or if you'd like to try them. Um, and maybe some giveaway ideas. I would be up for this just to send it around. Yeah. I, uh, four out of five, four out of five, salty. I can't really tell you why I can't give it a five. If you're being not big on pickles anyway, you probably wouldn't go to five, so makes sense. That's all I got. That hurt a lot.